You know, Bouncer, it looks very simple out here. We're just drifting, kites are in the air, but there's a lot more to it than that. Tell me, so that I can share it with our viewers, how you drift for sailfish, tuna, whatever is out here. Well, we're very lucky in South Florida because the Gulf Stream comes in close to shore, and our sea anchor takes the greatest advantage of that Gulf Stream being close to shore. The current is running from south to north. Today it's running almost three knots. Right. So the boat, the, the boat wants to go to the north. The predator fish are swimming against the current waiting for fish to come to them, just like a trout would lay next to a rock in a stream. Right. Well, that sea anchor makes the boat go at the same speed as the surface current. Now, so, if, you, if you go too slow, what happens? If you go too slow, you're dragging your baits against the current, and they don't act quite the same. Okay. If you're going too fast, then you shoot over the fish and you're dragging the baits the other direction. With the sea anchor, in conjunction with the kites, your baits are not being towed through the water in either direction. And with the line hanging straight from the kite, the bait can swim around in circles, do anything he wants, and he acts just like a bait fish drifting north with the Gulf Stream. And the other thing you're doing is you are working, we have a wind coming from the east to the southeast pushing us in a little bit. And you're working from deep to shallow. And the key to that is, is we're drifting in a little bit. With that big sea anchor out, we're just creeping towards shore. So we're covering each depth of water very thoroughly as we slowly slide towards shore. Without the sea anchor, there's a lot of days that by the time you got all the lines out, you'd be back in too shallow again. Bottom line is, you really need a sea anchor if you're gonna do this.